Welcome back to The Breakfast. Uh, more stories that we are, of course, are having conversations on this morning. Uh, singer Tua Savage has revealed that she attempted suicide twice. Uh, on-air personality and reality TV star Ibuka Obiuchendu on Bounce Live Radio interviewed to a, a Savage, where the singer revealed that uh, revealed rather her struggle with depression. According to her, she attempted to take her own life as a result of the bullying she received as a black kid in London. In her words, I was teased so bad they used to call me African girl. It was terrible. It was so bad that I literally tried to kill myself two times. I was really depressed. Bringing it back to recent times when most artists want an international deal and get, uh, of course, international recognition, which has become a recent trend in the entertainment industry. With a lot of our big names now relocating outside the country, nothing really has changed much as the racism is still very much around and most of them fall into depression for the love of their craft. Social media has continuously been a contributory factor as well. And joining us now is our entertainment correspondent, Ife Oshunke, who will shed more light on artists who have revealed their struggles with depression. Thank, Thank you, you so for much for joining, joining us. us. Good morning. Always a pleasure. Give us an idea some of these artists who have come out to publicly express their... Oh. All right, so first of all, what Jay came out sometime last year saying that she was going to quit music and she didn't want to do it again and that went really viral and saying that um, she's been working but she's not seeing results for a lot of her work and some of them fall into depression because after a certain time when you've been relevant in the industry and then you suddenly become very... Uh, non-relevance, you start feeling some type of way. What am I doing wrong? Those are the questions you begin to ask yourself. Mo Cheddar is a close friend of mine. She fell into depression. Thank God she's now into a lot of other things right now that is taking her mind away from, okay, I used to be a big rap star in Nigeria and she's doing all the things. Now that's Mo Cheddar. Ari Song revealed about his depression as well. Now, let's take it to the international scenes. Demi Lovato, she fell into drugs because um, she was a child star, you know, and then Justin Bieber, we've seen a well, lot this, of this, that. This, 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 uh, it's not, but yes, um, right. they are celebrities, so right. they will get, but it's not peculiar to celebrities. Depression comes from, I mean, People experience it from different uh, uh, places. Um, isn't it something to know that fame is transient in most cases? Not everybody is lucky to be on the lam um, in the limelight yes. rather for an indefinite period of time. Um, true, true. Everything you said is true. But um, if you think about it, fame is a very serious contributory factor because you have to keep up appearances like keeping up with the Joneses. You just want to show people this is who I am and most of the time it's not even who you are. Some of those people have an image to uphold but it doesn't mean they want to be of their best behavior all the time. It doesn't mean they want to be of their worst behavior all the time but there is a brand associated to them already that makes them do things differently so I, I get where you're coming from that it's not everybody because we've seen successful movie stars and celebrities that didn't fall into depression and they still have their life in order so it's relative you don't even have to be a celebrity depression is very relative i'm not an authority on 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 the subject matter but at least from the least i know and um, from the people i've spoken to in the medical field it's it can happen to me it can happen to you and um Fame is definitely a contributory do, factor. Do they need to, to know better about dealing with the pressure of fame? Um, yes. Um, I think that's where I would bring in the record labels. Because um, when you're signing this artist and you're putting them under a lot of pressure, of course, there's a lot of money being made. So why are we not paying attention to their mental health as well? So if, there, if most of this record, I could, I, I, okay, I wouldn't say this um, like, with full confidence, but I can I, I, I guess that a lot of record labels do not have um, a, a, a mental health session where they have people, you know, when whenever you're feeling depressed, you can just walk in, speak to a shrink, speak to to a therapist or somebody so that can advise that that you. Is something that, that is, is essential, should be part of, of the, the music deals. industry because we've seen what fame has done to a lot of these people. So, social, social media is one, um, yeah, um, I mean, contributory factor. Um, the other day, I think it's Travis Scott, I understand, um, uh, muted his Instagram yes. page after he got backlash for his mm -hmm. Halloween uh, mm -hmm. costume. Mm -hmm. And you have, you know, people 
targeting these celebrities for one reason or the okay. other. So, what, 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 what is the trend for those who are successful? People like Will Smith and those who have been able to, and some local artists as well, David Joe gives it back to them sometimes when they attack him. Not everybody has that mental strength. What can these people who, you know, fall into depression from social media attacks, from trolls, what can they learn from these are the biggest stars. First of all, you need to know what you're getting into. To be a big star, there has to be a price to pay. To be a public figure, to be able to walk the streets and everybody recognizes you, you know that is a price on, in, it, in, it, in itself. Now, you have to watch the type of places you go to, where you eat and all of that. So, first off, I like the fact you brought up David Doe, who you said gives it back to them. David Doe left social media for a long time, at least like three months, because he couldn't deal with the trolls that were coming. So I think, first thing, answering your question, develop a thick skin. Know that when I'm getting into the space, I'm going to get the good, the bad, and the ugly. So you have to choose what works for you and most of them decide to go for the bad and um, they go for it but if you believe in yourself which is why i said um therapy attention to mental health is important you know teach these people how to love themselves you can't begin to not fall into depression if you don't even love yourself enough so i think therapy is very important so uh, um, aside social media trolling and and the pressure you know with that comes with being in the industry and being you know famous um do a lot of them also know how to deal with the phases in life when they're no longer famous or no longer relevant because you know some of the names that you mentioned um had those issues when they started to struggle with yes. with putting out music right. with harry song with wajay with mocheda um it was at that phase where there was nothing else going good for them that which is why we still advocate that a lot of our celebrities should go back to school, get better at something. Don't say I'm a oh, dropout. Wow. I'm doing. <laughs> wow, wow, wow! <laughs> go back to school. No, you don't. Don't let us underestimate the power of education. The moment you have the technical know-how, even when you stop becoming relevant at music, if you have the technical know-how on how to teach people, manage artists, do other things. Look at Mo Cheddar, for example. She stepped out of it because she became a makeup artist. She was a fashion. She became a fashion designer. She started doing other things. She broadened her horizon. But a lot of them just focus on one thing music that's all i know what happens when music i mean they can also learn the business yeah. of music and you understand? find a way to they diversify producers. interesting conversation so Very. far thank, thank you so much it's always a pleasure, pleasure. Always a pleasure.